y'all and good morning. Welcome to Our Gray House Vlogs. My name is Lisa and if you're new here, welcome. I'm about to put on my shoes. I had the contractor come this morning so for those of you that don't know or if this is your first video, we built a custom house and it was complete in March of this year so just a few months ago and uh, about 30 to 45 days after the build is complete my builder comes back and just kind of does like a walkthrough to see if there's anything that we need to maybe address or fix or whatever like that. So we did have some concerns about the tile in the master bath. So the tile contractor guy came out today and uh, fixed some things and uh, we just kind of talked through some other issues. And, and uh, for example, I have, well, let me show you. So this is my master bath. And as you can see on the floor, I have the black penny tile and I have black grout with it. So the black grout is kind of a tricky, kind of a funny little fellow because the black grout doesn't um, always clean off so well. So for example, like when you take a shower and you've got the residue from the soap, you've got residue from the shampoo, conditioner, whatever else you used um, in the shower, it, it leaves residue on the tile. So um, I'm not really sure how to totally get around it, but um, of course, you know, we could like scrub it each time, clean it each time. In our old house, we had glass, um, as you can tell, I'm having allergies today. In our old house, we had glass, uh, glass surround shower, and uh, we used to squeegee it every single day to keep it looking nice uh, and, and not like, you know, whatever. We would just squeegee it every single day so it would look nice. So with this shower, we may have to um, basically like rinse it down every day, like scrub it down with a scrubber or whatever. So just to keep the residue from building up or anything like that. Don't know. We'll figure it out. But um, anyway, so that's why I'm getting a late start to my morning. I've uploaded two vlogs to the channel and I'm about to go get me a hot chocolate because that's my comfort food. <laughs> I sound like I'm like crying or something, but um, trying to put on my socks and shoes one handed and uh, then going to the office, going to the office and um, <sighs> we are starting keto on Monday. Y'all pray for us. Now, actually, I do really well on keto, and I don't mind keto overall, but there are times when I will miss bread. So, hang on, I gotta put on my shoes. Okay, I'm back. So, I was putting on these little footy socks, and it was showing, like, weirdly, um, because I usually wear no-show socks. And so, I had to switch, because my regular no-show socks, no show no 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 so no, no show socks were showing. So now it's time to go. Apparently somebody was um, playing over here. I have tried to use the essential oils like the citrus blend, the grapefruit. They're still, still trying to scratch up my chair a little bit. So that's not fun. Um, don't know where this allergy. I have allergies, yes. That's not a surprise. But the surprise is, I gotta blow my nose again. Um, the surprise is that it's like, what happened? Why today? Why now? I don't know. Also, this door was closed, but Captain, the older cat, he has figured out how to open it. And I was hoping to keep it closed. Oh, he's not in here. I thought he was in here. I was hoping to keep it closed just because there's no reason for them to be in there. And, uh, we're not supposed to touch that tile for at least a day, he said. Um, he said. Then he said, don't use it till tomorrow night. And I'm like, that's more than a day. But whatever. We have another shower, even if it's on the other side of the house, which is not that far. Because look, I'm standing in the doorway to where my bedroom is. And that doorway over there, I mean, it is far, but it's just on the other side of the kitchen, so it's not that far. And no, I still do not have any artwork up. I don't have any decor really up. So it just is what it is. 
All right, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna go get me a hot chocolate. I'm gonna grab me a um, sweater because in Texas, even though it feels like you're on the face of the sun, it is also cold usually in buildings because people turn on the air conditioner really high. So I'm gonna grab a sweater. I'm going to grab my stuff and I'm gonna go. Hey y'all, I'm back at the office. Now I'm not back at the office. I'm finally at the office. It's noon. Can you believe I got to the office this late today? I can't. I just finished filming Hot Chocolate Chat, which of course I will add to the vlog now. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks and I want to talk about manners. Please was just at a garage sale and this lady was wanting to know what her total amount was but there was a language barrier so naturally I stepped in and I said this brecken die Deutsch no I'm just kidding I didn't say that I think I was trying to say do you speak German but anyway it was Spanish and so I just said did you need help help the lady the transaction was complete and she started to walk away and then she didn't say thank you and I'm over there going. Because I'm thinking to myself, I helped you. You needed help and I helped you. And I just, why, why wouldn't you just say thank you? I want to know where did all of our manners go? Like, did somebody tuck them away, put them in a back room or something? because somebody needs to find the key and unlock that door and open it right back up so we can all start saying please and thank you again. And don't forget, excuse me, pardon me, bless you when you sneeze. I'm from Texas, or maybe not. See, why am I, why am I even designating it like that? I'm gonna say like, yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir, that type of thing. But that's not just restricted to the South. That could be everywhere. I think, were you taught that in your family are you teaching that to your kids? Let me know your thoughts, please. Yeah, that was my topic, manners. So, um, seems to be a dying, like, tradition, art form. I don't know. But I need to get inside. I need to get some things done and get ready for an awesome weekend with my husband. We, I, there's actually like a Facebook event to go to tonight, but I don't think I'm going to go because it's not really on a topic that I need help with. So, um, I'm not going to go to that or probably not. And I'm just going to kind of plan out with hubby the rest of the weekend because he's got a couple things that he wants to do. And I've got a few things that I want to do. So we'll see how that goes. <sighs> okay. Let's go inside and get some stuff done. Ah, the end of a work day. So I stayed a little bit extra helping Jessica with a few things. She got a last minute call wanting to buy a property on the lake. So we were kind of working out some stuff with that. And I may help her go show this weekend. We'll see. But um, yeah, it's going to be an awesome weekend. I feel like I've got some things accomplished. I rearranged my desk, which always makes me feel like fresh and new and now I'm gonna go home to Marvin we're gonna make um, another every plate dinner and yeah I need to cancel next week's every plate unless he wants to to get it so I'll have to remember to do that when I get home but I'll see you guys in a little bit hey I'm home now and I've not changed clothes but I'm trying to practice this messy top knot bun that Jessica is trying to teach me I am also about to edit a ton of videos. I'm gonna just like, pow, 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 like that. That's the hope anyway. And we're not doing every plate, but I'm gonna check what is on the every plate next week and see if we wanna get in, if we wanna get a thing next week or not. And then um, we, I'll decide if we're gonna get it. Somebody's messing around. I'll decide if we're gonna get it a delivery next week and what happens is they send you like a meal plan and then you can decide if you want to get it or skip it and we have until like 10 um, p.m. I think and so um, right now they're gonna send us unless I cancel or skip they're gonna send us garlic rosemary chicken linguine carbonara which I actually like um, 
Catboy Skillet Pie. And you can also choose from spicy chicken sausage stuffed peppers, pan seared steak, which you have to add uh, three bucks per serving that you're getting, pork and poblano tacos, uh, apricot sriracha pork chops or beef. Oh, bibimbap, uh, bibimbap bowl, which I'm not, I'm not pronouncing that right, but it's Korean. And, um, my daughter, Catherine, her boyfriend is Korean. So I'm like, I probably messed that up though. It says 30 minutes. But anyway, if we decide to get it, the only thing is I'm going to try to do keto next week. And carbonara has, uh, carbonara has um, pasta, which is not keto. So maybe we'll skip next week. I'm just going to let Marvin look at the menu options to see if he wants to get it next week or not. And um, he is taking a shower in the other shower, the guest bathroom, the one that's all the way across the house. And uh, he's just getting out now because we had the tile worked on today. So that's not a good idea. But anyway, we're not gonna make um, marvelous meals with Marvin and Lisa tonight. We're just going to be doing, uh, I don't know, cereal or something. And um, I'm nodding at Marvin that it's fine for him. I'm not filming that way. <laughs> so um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog now. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to be kind to others and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.